In this video tutorial, we are going to be expanding our knowledge of the color sensor on the Lego Spike Prime robots. So in a previous video tutorial, what we did was got our robot to detect different colors using that color sensor. But what we're going to be looking at today is the option to detect no color. And I've got a cool little challenge for us uh, to do with that in just a moment. But before we do that, we need to get started by loading up the Lego Education Spike app. And once we open it, we need to make sure we are in the Spike Prime section, not the Essentials. We're going to click on New Project today, and we're going to call our project Don't Fall Off The Edge. I can spell it. And I'll tell you why we're calling it Don't Fall Off The Edge in a moment. Uh, just make sure you select Word Blocks for your coding today, and click on Create. Uh, the next thing I'm going to get you to do is make sure your robot is connected to the app. So as you can see, mine is already connected because I can see all the different connections that are plugged into the hub at the moment. If you're not connected, just click this button here and either connect your robot via Bluetooth or the USB cable that is supplied in your kit. So today's challenge, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting our robot to drive across the top of a table. And our job is to keep that robot on top of the table and don't let it fall off the edge. And we're going to be using the color sensor to help keep our robot on top of the table. Okay, so to get started on this little challenge, I'm going to zoom in first of all on this yellow block of code that we've already got in. It says when the program starts. So when we press the play button in the bottom right hand corner, what do we want our robot to do? Well, the first thing that we want our robot to do is move in a straight line. So we need to go to the movement section here, and we need to tell the computer which ports our motors are plugged into. So as you can see, mine are plugged into ports A and B. It tells us that just up the top here. Yours might be plugged into different ports, which is fine. Just choose the appropriate letters. When you've got them, Bring out this block of code that says set movement motors to and select where your motors are plugged into. I actually have to switch mine from A plus B to B plus A, otherwise it would have driven in reverse. So my movement motors are set to B plus A. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my movement speed. And we're going to be moving reasonably slow today. And there's a reason for that. I'm going to set it to 30% movement speed. Now the reason I want to go slow today is because if we go 100% speed, so we're driving across the table flat out, when the robot hits the edge of the table, it's just going to tumble off and fall to its death. If we're going nice and slow though, it gives the robot time to sense that it's reached the edge of the table and it will stop before it actually drops off the edge. Okay, so you need to set your movement speed to a relatively low speed. I reckon 30% or less will be good for today. Uh, now, once you have got your movement speed set to 30%, the next thing you need to do is actually tell it to start moving. So just bring out the block of code that says start moving and tell it which direction you want it to drive in. in today's case, it's going to be straight at zero degrees. And that block of code just gets our robot moving straight. It won't stop for anything. It's going to keep on driving until we stop our program. So that's got him driving across the top of the table. But now we need to put in the code that tells him to stop when he detects the edge of the table. And to do that, it's quite similar to what we did in our previous color sensor video. We need to go to the control tab and bring in the wait until block. And our robot's just gonna wait until he can sense no color. So go up, to, oh sorry, down to your sensors here and bring out the first block of code like we've done in previous videos. And it just says we're going to wait until our color sensor, which is plugged into port D. Feel free to change that to whatever port yours is plugged into. So we wait until our color sensor plugged into port D is sensing color. And we're actually going to choose a no color. So this bottom right one that has the red line going through it, that tells the computer that when the robot senses no color, or basically air, what do we want it to do? Well, we're going to tell it to stop moving. Because we know when our robot senses no color, it's found the edge of the table. It's looking over the edge. So part of the robot is actually going to drive over the edge. So this is where your color sensor is hanging off the edge. It spots no color. And immediately we need to tell it to stop. Okay, so that's it. That is the code that is going to get your robot driving along the top of a table 
and when it senses the edge, it's going to stop moving. So let's test it out and make sure that this works. Be sure to have your hands under the robot in case it doesn't survive the drop and you actually have to catch it before it hits the ground. All right, so press play and see what happens. All right, so that worked pretty well. My robot stopped at the edge of the table. But I want to go one step further now. What I want it to do is actually hit the edge of the table, back up a little bit, turn around, and then drive off in a new direction and start exploring a different part of the table. All right, so to do that, we don't have to add too much more code. We already know that this section of code gets us moving. It will detect the edge of the table and stop moving once it's found that edge of the table. From there, we're just going to tell it to back up 10 centimeters. So bring out this block of code that says move backwards, or move down in this case, for 10 centimeters. And once we've moved backwards for that small amount of um, distance, we are going to spin around into a new direction. So we can drive off in a new direction. So we're going to be bringing in the same block of code again, but this time we're going to spin on the spot. So let's just turn left for, say, we'll go six centimeters. And that's basically it. The only thing we need to do now is get this code repeating itself so that we can just keep exploring, keep driving, stopping when it gets to the edge, and then keep driving. So we just want it to continue over and over again forever. So that means we need a forever loop. In your control tab, grab that forever loop and wrap it around this section of code here. I'll just zoom back a little bit. All right, so the forever loop wraps around when we start moving straight. Always looking out for no color. When we do see that, we stop moving, back it up 10 centimeters, swing it around to the left by six centimeters, and then loop around and start that again. So we start moving straight again, and so forth. And that's basically your code. So let's have a look at what that does. Hopefully we can start exploring multiple sections of the table without falling off the edge. Alright, so that worked well, and that's all I'm going to show you in today's video, um, I'll catch you in the next one.